Hello there. This is Music Man 0150, also known as Gary. And yes, I'm back again with another video. And I just made an interesting discovery, as you can see. This is one of the large, old speakers that I have. What I did was I was able to man I managed to uh, get the grill off of this one to uh, see how to get inside to make some repairs. And as you can see, the woofer, the 12-inch woofer, has some cracks around the foam. And uh, it does look pretty dry. It looks like it's dried out. It still plays, but I'm sure with it with it cracked like that, the sound is is a little bit different from when it was fully intact. And then over here is the five inch mid range, and that one looks like it's still in pretty good shape. I can use that as a backup if need be, because. Um, it still plays, and uh, you know it, it could be used as a as a temporary replacement until you know a, a new one can be put in. And then down there is the three-inch tweeter, and that one also works. But I think uh, if I'm going to restore this whole cabinet, I think I'm going to re just replace all three of the speakers so everything is brand new. This is the other speaker here. That's what it would normally look like. And this is the one that I hadn't been able to get the grill off as of yet. I want to try to get it off so then I could see what the uh, conditions are on this cabinet. The woofer is semi blown out on this one I believe unless it's the other one. I, I can't tell without hooking it to a sound system. I tried using this little test amp to uh, run some audio through the cabinet but the adapter I used wasn't working so I gotta try and use another uh, adapter because I gotta go from 8th inch to RCA. There's the RCA cords right there on the floor so I gotta see if I have another eighth inch to RCA to try to give these another test. But getting back to this one with with the with the grill on it, the um, the woofer I think is semi blown out. The tweeter still works, but the mid range is totally out. So I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to try to get the grill off of this one. And uh, see if I can figure out what's wrong inside that cabinet. This is what the back side of the grill looks like right here. This is all this is is a is a piece of um, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's pressed wood or if it's plastic or what it what it is, but it it's solid enough where. You know, it, it can't. It it well, it could break if, if you're not careful with it. It could break, so I had to be very, very careful not to not to crack it. On the bottom, on the front part of the bottom, uh, it's it's kind of uh, bent out a little bit because I had to try to get the um, uh, grill off with a screwdriver, and that's that's how you get in these because the back on these is totally sealed. You can't get in the back. You can't get in the back way without ripping the whole uh, back off. So I had a feeling that the grills come off. It just just something told me about that that, that, that you know the grills had to come off somehow to uh, get in and make repairs. So this is good news. This is real good news because I, I kept thinking, now how am I going to get these working again like they should? And now this is the first step in uh, 
seeing what's inside. So I'm very excited about this because I want to actually I want to make these uh, sound like new again. The cabinets themselves they sustained a little bit of water damage because this room got hit with water once from a lot of rain uh, but that's not real critical. Uh, in fact, the bottom of this one, eh, it's, it's kind of, I don't know if you could see it. Let me see if I could turn this. As you can see, it's got, there's a little bit of ripples in this, but that, that's not too critical. I think, I think these are still going to be okay. And the same with this one this one should be okay as well if you look on here see it's peeling right here so that did sustain water damage but I think um, I think there's still hope for these I don't know I don't know whether I should try to preserve it or just get rid of it so these are these are actually vintage type speakers that you can't find anymore unless you go on eBay and so far I haven't seen another pair like this so I think there's actually a way that I think this could be See here, here's the damage right here. I think there's a way that this could be redone. If anybody has any ideas on how to how to uh, go about repairing this, I would, you know, appreciate the comments. Cause I would like to, you know, try to keep these as long as I can. I don't know if you could see the the little ripples where the water got hit. Yeah, see there's little ripples right there. And then along here, it's kind of peeling. And then this is the back right here. As you can see, it's, it's just totally sealed. And you can hear me knocking on it. It's solid, it's solid wood. It's solid wood, so, um... Uh... We'll just have to take it one step at a time, I guess, and see what we can do. So, anyway, there's the other view of the other speaker. So, I wanted to I wanted to share this with you because I I had a very interesting discovery, and I thought, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of you viewers that are into you know vintage restoration and electronics and all that I thought you'd be interested in this so anyway that's gonna do it for this video hopefully um, maybe in a future video I can get get these to play you know with with the way they are right now I can let you hear what they sound like as they are now and then as we go through the restoration process we can uh, you know you can hear the the difference as I change the speakers out and put new ones in. So, anyway, this is Music Man 0150 signing off for now. And hope everyone has a great day. And please stay tuned because more videos will be coming.